Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and it is time to take a look at another uh, Avengers War Table thing, um, which they did one, was it last month or was it, I think it was last month, right? I don't know. I think it was last month. I could be wrong, though. Um, but uh, last time, there was a lot of Thor gameplay. Um, we got MODOK revealed. That was the big reveal. This time, uh, I think we're... I'm assuming we're going to focus on Iron Man. Which, I guess this is a smart way to do it. I'm assuming that means we'll have at least, what, three more? Because... How many playable characters? There's Black Widow, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and Hulk, right? But no, I also, um, I can never remember her name. Elastic Girl. <laughs> Stretch Arms. I, for I keep forgetting her name. Captain Captain Wonderful. Whatever her name is. I don't know. I'm sure that's going to give me a dislike because I don't remember. Not that I ever read her. I remember her name. Carmilla, right? Carmilla Khan. I don't know her superhero name. Whatever. Uh, anyway, let's get to it. Like, I'm not really super excited for this. Yeah. But, uh... Maybe it'll be good. Uh, last one was kind of slow, honestly. But anyway, let's go. Maybe this one could be better. Iron Man. Iron Man might be a little bit more fun to watch than uh, Thor was. Crystal Dynamics. Actually. Oh, really? Okay. In times like this, when it all seems hopeless, that's when we've got to stand strong. Why isn't it Fury like a robot? I do like Modoc as the bad guy. That's cool. I will rid the earth of superpowers. The never has to end with me. And you just watched Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics Avengers War Table stream. We actually got a lot of gameplay. We got a lot more information than anyone was ever expecting. Modoc was announced as the villain. Oh, okay. Help you. What? That's a hundred percent Modoc. Oh, Modoc. But I also like that they're taking it a step oh, nice. beyond kind of the funny. MCU movies. Where oh, like, so they're just taking people's, like, uh, reactions and stuff. And that's exciting. They won't have mine, that's for sure. I was like, oh, Modoc, cool. Everything else Dude, is just like... Dude, this is crazy. So each mission is going to be based on that certain adventure. There is a lot, a lot to this game. Is that crazy? <laughs> have you played a video skills, game before? The many customization options. Play how you want to with each character. I like the idea of my... Oh, nice you know, Black Widow will handle differently than someone else's Black Widow. You need a robust customization system, and I do think that that looks that weird is what though. this game is going for. It. I'm in. Like this looks awesome. I want to play this. I want to get into this. The thing that seemed the coolest about this across the board was just the breadth of modes you could get into. I didn't know we were getting so much from this live stream. This is crazy. Co-op and war zone. Online co-op. It's going down. Oh, I like Uncaged King. What speaks to me is the amount I watch of his, uh, buy everything Mortal Kombat, Kombat videos. Games, They're pretty costumes. fun. There's too much... I can't even process all this right now. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> well, they liked it, at least. I thought, I thought it was fine. It was Marvel's fun. Avengers War Table. First off, a huge thank you to everyone who joined our first Marvel's Avengers War Table last month. And extra thanks as well for telling us what you like and what you want to see in future shows. We are reading your posts. Captain America. Comments, so please keep them coming. Captain America. Since then, what we've heard from you most. Captain America. Than, where's Hawkeye? Is when's the beta? Hawkeye. We'll start I mean, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Everything you need to know about the beta. Then. We'll share a glimpse at how our yeah, game actually, I wouldn't mind playing Hawkeye. Hawkeye might be fun, actually. The first post-launch hero. And New there hero. Surprises along the way. Is it Hawkeye? <laughs> this is Beta. It's Hawkeye, is it? It's Hawkeye. Beta. Oh, when does this come out? I mean, the game comes out in two months, so this has to be soon. Looks oh, looking pretty good. She looks like she'll be fun to play just because of her 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 stretch stretch thing. You know when she stretch. Abomination, nice. Beta. When is it, when is it out? Today? I got too many games to play. <laughs> next week. The beta Do next week. With the entire Golden Gate Bridge demo, dropping players into the middle of the chain so of events that led to the aiding disaster. 
This is 25 minutes of gameplay and a great introduction to how each hero plays and how combat and traversal work. Okay. We built the Golden Gate Bridge sequence to be this roller coaster ride of an experience with huge set pieces, tons of combat and traversal, and a Taskmaster boss battle. It's also a chance to try out many of each of the hero's special combos. A little Black Widow in there? Heroics and the movie? Specific moves. They knew what they were doing. From there, the beta starts to open up just like the full game does. Giving you new single player hero missions oh. and eventually single player or co-op war zones to discover. As Kamala and Hulk, you'll travel to the dead Kamala of the Hulk. American Pacific Northwest. My, my favorite duo. The Olympia Archive. The last known location of Jarvis. This is another Jarvis. example of a hero mission showcasing Hulk's destructive capabilities. Later, you'll take the Quinjet Dude, make a new ultimate North destruction game. Oh Russian my god. Oh. To uncover shield secrets hidden <laughs> deep underground. <laughs> Some of his share, his shirt. That's very good. Beta because they feature a diverse mix of locales, from wide open spaces for you to bound through and explore, to underground aim complexes bristling with high tech security and some, let's just say, smashable interiors. Yay! You can expect heavy resistance whichever beta missions you play, including a showdown with Abomination. What you got there, Cricket? You should test everything that you've learned so far. It was really important for us to create a beta. The character models look really good, actually. That show off the epic scale of the game. Hey, hey! So these missions give you a look into the world of Calm down, Tim Roth. and our characters, which sees a young Kamala Khan stepping up against AIM to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes when the world needs them the most. Looking sharp, guys. Combined Too bad Captain America's dead for the entire game and he won't come back at all. Already good sized beta. But Too bad. Marvel's Avengers is I only see four team, people. We knew that we needed to give you even more than that. Once you complete the single player story content, you'll have four different heroes to choose from to play in some great war zones and harm rooms that we oh, have for the beta. For the beta. Okay. They are so you ain't gonna put Iron Captain Man, America? Kamala Khan, Black Widow, and Hulk. Huh, okay, can't play us. And that well, means whatever. you don't have to pick just one. You can play them all. As you progress through the beta, you are given access to the Helicarrier, Jarvis, and the War Table, where you can play four-player co-op in three different types of missions. Harm okay. rooms, war zones, and drop zones. Let's start with harm rooms. Harm rooms. Our holographic augmented reality machine rooms, or harm rooms for short, are virtual training simulators where heroes can take on waves of increasingly difficult <laughs> they either They tried to make that kind of work. Companion AI, or with up to four I guess not too bad. Uh, I guess. You begin in the harm room I've training heard, I've heard worse. Mission, which runs you through the paces of learning to control a hero. From there, you unlock three harm challenge rooms to test your teamwork. Bring your best hero build to see if you have what it takes to complete all three. Think Harm challenge okay. rooms are a great a place to hone your combat skills both individually and as a team. While anyone can play the game, you'll need to focus and work together to make it into the most elite spaces. How many can you and your team complete? You can track your progress, and once you finish, you earn a nameplate that carries over to the full retail version of the game, showing that you not only played in the beta, you excel. Once you reach this point in the beta and have an operational war table, you can also go online and tackle a series of war zone and drop zone missions. Okay. This seems we like it would be what I, I want to play. Zones in the first Marvel's Avengers war this table. This looks kind of cool in the first war, war table. War zones are missions you can play with up to four heroes you've unlocked as companion AI with three other players or a mix of both. There are five beta war zones to play and a wide variety of aim enemies to take down, including a range of human and robotic foes. Oh, nice. The first thing you notice is how each hero's traversal is true to the hero. Flyers like Iron Man Black Widow has to take the, the stairs. Hulk picking up momentum as he bounces. Nah, she probably uses her Kamala grapple hook thing or something. Foot, but 
They both had unique traversal abilities to grapple and swing, throwing themselves in the air and even chaining together swings to increase speed and cover greater distances. So this is how we're gonna get the by not having a Spider-Man. Huh? She's gonna make Black Widow Spider-Man. Oh, she is a spider, Black Widow. Her tactical awareness to see everything that's available to do in a mission. I guess. For instance. That right there is what we call a POI, or point of interest. Oh. This POI is a bunker. Poi. Bunkers usually have small environmental puzzles that unlock a door once they're solved, and there are usually goodies inside. Can we like stop with the two people have to go on two buttons at the same comments. time to open a door puzzle? Those are so lame. Missions on the war table can take as short as 10 minutes and as long as two hours. Two hours. Are among the smaller, Good lord. Versions of war zones, and they almost always have a single objective. The beta drop zones are designed to let you and your team drop in for a single hit and run encounter, and in the full game, wait, oh, 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 that's for is that black widow? Heroes. Whether you play with friends or with your companion AI team, she just has a different costume. In, you get out, and you're done. Nice work. So she can have two like little Uzis? That's awesome, actually. Many of the different types of gameplay and systems that you'll find in a full game. The beta includes missions built for different players and power levels. And as you build your hero, you will find love that, that you can clap. increasingly ambitious. Missions. I love that in, uh, ultimate destruction too. Is one of the main systems in the full game, and the beta. Can you get boxing gloves made out of a car? Experience though? and leveling up your Avengers. Can in you beta, take this into the three full release game? For each hero. The I hope so. Open up when the game launches. As you earn experience, you level up, and each level grants you a skill point. You spend these to unlock skills and shape what each of your Avengers can do. In our first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we talked about heroics and ultimates, and we teased the Hulkbuster. Yeah, you did. The Hulkbuster is Iron Man's ultimate, and you can use it in the beta. Okay. Ooh. Right off the bat, this is ultimate. All right. That's fun. Well, power. Hulkbuster comes equipped with rocket-propelled melee attack combos and overpowering dash attacks that can literally sweep enemies off the battlefield. You can access Hulkbuster's rocket-propelled punches. Rocket propelled. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Extra that powerful thing. repulsor blast and leap and slam attack. And the ability to sustain tons of damage. There How are long do you have though? Alternate deployment methods. I will leave that to you to discover in the beta. Is it over? You will also earn gear as you play, and as you level up, you'll have access to better gear with more powerful perks. And that is just in the beta. In the full game, in the full game, three this could be more. An extensive gear to dial in your perfect place. That's cool. I do like that. Roster to play it's your just. Way. I guess it really matters on if the game plays fun. Your roster, yeah. During your first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we mentioned that playing with your companion AI was a great alternative if you prefer your superhero game solo. But there's a very good reason why we like them so much. These are your heroes playing alongside you on your team that you get to play as Jarvis. And you are leveling. So I love that costume. Control. Holy shit. The game then adds more <laughs> Iron Man. I've seen it before every time I see it though. Your commodity your party. The heroes in your party are using the skills that you've unlocked and the yeah. gear that you've equipped. Yeah. But you can then mix and match to create a tailor-made party composition that plays the way that you want to play. I have a feeling this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be this a really a fun great game. Way for a solo player to play as it's a not gonna blow anybody's minds, but it's gonna be fun. And in the beta. By the way, I keep sinking down, I, I realize that. <laughs> composition matters I'm getting lower and lower. Building out a team My chair of sucks. Or hybrid melee and ranged builds allows you to do a lot more with what you have. This was a quick overview of the beta. It is a big experience with more than 20 combined co-op and single player missions and four heroes with a small taste of the customizations, outfits and upgrades and even some secrets you'll have to discover by yourself. Cool. So when's the beta? I don't know exactly. Hey, if you announced it before, tell me again. Or tell me for the first time, because I, I never saw it. I never saw a date.
From the very start, we blend Marvel's Avengers as an experience that grows with you as you play. Right. The heart and soul of that is each Avenger, and as fans ourselves, like we Captain America, some of our and your favorite heroes to join the team after launch. Heroes like this. It's Hawkeye. It's Hawkeye. <laughs> they teased it earlier. Hawkeye's in it. Twenty surviving Avengers. Punisher. Ah, oh, it's Hawkeye. It's Hawkeye. We lose the fight ahead of us. Punisher would be so awesome. But Hawkeye's cool. Show me some gameplay though. Then know this. What does he look like? Does he look like Jeremy Runner? The key to saving our future lies in the past. Clint? Well, I guess that explains the shock arrow. <laughs> And Bo. <laughs> All right, he looked like generic man though. I, hey, I would have taken a Jeremy Renner's weird haircut in Endgame. Oh yeah, I guess he kind of yeah. He looks like from the comic. Yeah. All right. One of our right. favorite runs Old is Hawkeye. writer Matt Fraction and artist David Ajaz's I heard that one's really good. And we've taken some exciting ideas from it. So much so that Hawkeye has his own in-depth story mission chain, and it is unique from the main campaign because it can be cool. played in co-op or awesome. solo, whichever you prefer. You get new campaign stuff, well, like is story your campaign first stuff look too. At how the expanding world of Marvel's Avengers continues to grow after launch. When the reassemble campaign is the story of Kamala reuniting the Avengers against the current aim threat. On top of that, you get six heroes with a game at launch, each with skills to upgrade, gear, and outfits to earn and unlock. But after that, you oh, yeah. enter the ever-present Avengers Initiative. This is where you extend the experience as the Avengers protecting Earth from all threats and incursions. Both the ones coming on day one, and where new heroes, new missions, new regions are all accessible with your entire team roster, either solo, with AI heroes, or online with other players. Whoa! August is Marvel's Avengers beta month. Yeah. We are ready day. and eager to play alongside you throughout August in the lead up to launch on September 4th. As you play, you generate tons of feedback for us to improve the tuning and playability, and we learn more about what else we can do as we grow this game's world to be the superhero fantasy you dream It must of be a nightmare That's being a game developer. That's for you to get started and play what we've been playing. When you get your hands on the beta yourselves, dive into the story, jump online and play with friends, all starting on August 7th through 9th on PlayStation 4 oh. and PC and Xbox starting August 14th. The beta is meaty, but it's only a small part of the finished game. Okay, Enjoy guess I have to play on PS4. <laughs> more than 80 war zones, more than 50 enemy types, new configurations of hard wow. and challenges okay. updated regularly, and even more later game mission types that we haven't even revealed yet, such as hives and boss layers. The longer that you play the game, the more it grows and evolves as we add new characters like Hawkeye and new story content and regions, all at no What do you got to add Captain America? And he dies in the beginning when you go bring him back. Because obviously they're not going to do that during the story mode. Oh, and one more thing. What? We're also excited to reveal that we're working with Lebos. Epic Games in the Fortnite team. So when you finish the Marvel's Avengers beta, you will learn the Hulk Smasher's pickaxe with bonus Hulkbuster style in Fortnite. For more details, visit Fortnite.com. Really? Thank you for joining us for another Marvel's Avengers War Table. We'll be back with more news and probably some more surprises before then. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the beta. I don't know about that one. All right. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I'm like, what? What? Uh, you got some hands in Fortnite. <laughs> I mean, that was actually not bad. That was actually a pretty good uh, little presentation. The beta looks like it could be fun. And they didn't, they didn't focus on one hero this time, which they did with Thor, which was really weird. Because they, they really went into Thor. Um, which I still don't understand why they only focused on Thor, that one. Especially since, like, it seems like they're not going to do that anymore. I thought maybe they'll do a couple more presentations and... They'll focus on each hero, but it looks like they're not doing that. So I guess maybe they, they really like Thor. Uh, hey, that's that's fair. But um, I understand. It looks okay. It looks alright. So um, 
Yeah. I, I think it's... See, like, if I was over... Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I see why the people in the beginning really enjoyed it. Enjoyed that first presentation. They're huge Marvel fans, and they'll just eat up anything Marvel. I just, I just don't think it looks, like, amazing. It looks good, though, but some people were, like, going crazy in the beginning. I'm like, it looks really good. And it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, but I don't know about, like... I don't know. I wasn't as hyped as some of those people. But, um... Yeah. It looks fun. It looks good. It looks like a solid 7, maybe an 8 when it comes out. Unless it has, like, problems when it comes out, which it possibly could, because... It's one of those service kind of games, so. You know, I guess it's not, like, there's, there's no, wait, is there loot boxes? I can't remember if they said there's going to be loot boxes or not. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Till next time. Um, and that was the War Table for July, even though I'm assuming there will probably be one in August, right? So we'll probably be back soon. There you go. Bye.